the House of Commons voted to open an investigation into Boris Johnson's parliamentary conduct today as MPs agreed to send accusations that he misled the lower house to the Committee on Standards. What happens if the Prime Minister is found to have misled the Commons? MPs forewent a formal ballot this evening, as following a debate session, an absence of no's from the government benches during an oral vote allowed the investigation to proceed as proposed. The debate saw new opposition emerge from the Tory backbenches, with Brexiteer MP and former Boris Johnson cheerleader Steve Baker claiming the PM's gig is up. The Prime Minister's fate is now in the hands of the Cross-Party Standards Committee. What happens if the Prime Minister is found to have misled Parliament? While now given the go-ahead, the investigation will take some time to conclude. Members of the Standards Committee must wait before they start substantive consideration of the matter, as the Metropolitan Police will have to conclude its inquiries first. Doing so will allow the committee to consider all the available facts, as government insiders suggested Mr. Johnson will receive more fixed penalty notices down the line. These could ultimately provide evidence of him misleading Parliament on additional occasions beyond those considered at present. Former police officer Graham Wetton told Sky News that it is unclear how long Scotland Yard would take to conclude its investigation. MPs will look at a different dimension of the potentially COVID rule-breaking gatherings and produce a report on their conclusions. Their side of the investigation seeks to determine whether the Prime Minister deliberately misled Parliament when he insisted no rules were broken during the gatherings in question. On a previous occasion, he told MPs that whatever happened, the guidance was followed and the rules were followed at all times. But his fixed penalty notice shows that the Met Police found this was untrue. Lawmakers will have to determine whether he deliberately or inadvertently misled the House with his claims. Proving the former is inherently tougher and would come with potentially severe consequences for the Prime Minister.